and then the next section, I guess the bridge, uh, is based around Two different dominant seventh chords. It's because I'm a Beatles fan. Seventh chord of Over that, this is what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to add a click again. Ah, it's not a perfect loop, it's good enough, close enough for rock and roll, and now... <laughs> So that's another surprise there, I guess. That every note happens between the beats. Um, uh, when Marco heard the demo, he decided this section sounded like the music from a chat show. Chat show? Yeah, like David Letterman or something. Whenever we were rehearsing the song, we would reach this, this next section and he'd go, Ladies and gentlemen! Um, <laughs> I hear what he means. <laughs> I'm not offended. Um, but uh, I, I tried to make the chord voicing sound as big as possible here because we're only a trio. So I wanted some chordal information and a melody. So it, it comes out like this three, four, five, six. This riff, I will now put the riff back in the looper. Um. So there it is. Hopefully, that sounds like an old friend now. Um, but I discovered that you can put some confusion flavored chords over that. So again, you, you hear the riff in a different way. It's all part of the culture clash theme. So now, riff. because I didn't know you could play those chords over the riff no. when I wrote the riff. So if you wanted to play a solo over that, and I'm a guitar player, of course I want to play a solo over that. Solo <laughs> And there are four different chords, well five I guess, five chords. This one, which is basically a... 
D flat major with B in the bass. So. And then that's like a B. This one is B flat, an altered dominant. This is horrible to translate. Oh like that. But it's it's like the Hendrix chord. But down there. And then this, which is like an E, but with an A as the bass note. And then for the fourth quarter, it's just a sharp minor seven going to whatever you want to call that I hear that as I guess a D flat major six with the fifth in the bass so, so can I have some fun over this now just play for a minute all right If I could offer you all one piece of advice, I guess it would be this. Try to figure out why you play music. Why do you spend all those hours with your guitar? What is the point? And once you know that, a lot of your other questions disappear. If you know why you're playing, it might be to write your own music, it might be so you can be in a band, it might just be for fun. Um, it doesn't matter what your purpose is, but work out why you're playing. And then all the other questions, like how, what should I practice, how long should I practice, and all of this stuff, those questions will disappear because you will know precisely what it is that you're trying to achieve. Um, I hope that's helpful, a bit of hippie philosophy. Um, use it wisely, my friends. And now, these fingers. <laughs> Cheers.